Three and a half million years ago, a pair of hominins walked across the landscape, leaving behind some of the most remarkable evidence of bipedality that we have anywhere in the fossil record. The evidence they left behind wasn't fossils, but rather footprints. They weren't walking across a beach. They were walking across a set of wet, fresh ashes that hardened over time, much like wet concrete would harden, leaving behind evidence of how they moved across the landscape. Now, this is amazing evidence because normally we start with the fossils and we're reconstructing the morphology of the individuals in an attempt to understand their behavior, or in this case, their locomotor abilities. In this case, the footprints leave evidence of how they actually moved. And it's our job then to try and reconstruct the anatomy from that bit of evidence. The footprints left at Laetoli are not quite as perfect as my footprint here in the beach. And yet, they provide a tremendous amount of evidence as to how the hominin body was moving across the landscape. Several of the key features of our bipedal gait are evident in the footsteps at Laetoli. For example, the initiation of our bipedal gait, the initiation of our step, begins when our heel touches the ground. This heel strike is the primary initiating factor of our bipedal gait. We place a lot of weight on our heel, and as a result, not surprisingly, we have a large calcaneus tuber, the, basically the bone in the back of our heel, to help support that heel strike. As our weight moves forward, our relatively stiff foot helps transfer that weight forward onto the balls of our feet. And eventually, we finish our foot with a prominent toe-off, where we extend our foot and actually through the big toe. So this prominent toe-off leaves a deep impression at the large toe. Now, more questionable is exactly whether they have the exact same foot structure we do. So as we see here, we can see the heel strike very clearly in this impression as my heel strikes the ground and I begin to transfer weight onto this foot. The weight is then transferred across especially the lateral aspect of my foot onto the balls of my feet and eventually extending into the large toe off with force going through my large toe. All of these features are evident at the footprint at Laetoli. More questionable are some of the advanced features of our bipedal gait. If you notice my footprint here, you'll see there's this large negative space along the medial aspect of my foot. This is a result of the fact that we have a long longitudinal arch in our foot, as well as a short transverse arch in our foot. These arches are the product of soft tissue tendons that help provide support to the foot during bipedalism. They help relieve stress on the foot as we engage in long periods of walking. It's unclear whether or not the Australopithecines that walked across the landscape at Laetoli had these exact characteristics, but they did again have this heel strike, the weight transfer, and extended force going through the big toe, the hallmarks of hominid bipedality.